Hi, I'm Dr. Shanice O'Mara, and I'm originally a mechanical engineer, and I'm here to answer all your questions about the subject. Andrew, aged 15 from Cardiff, asks, to me, engineering is about building bridges and other structures. What else do engineers do? That's a great question because I would ask, what do engineers not do? Engineers um, are problem solvers, so they can turn their hands to anything that needs a solution, whether that's making us travel faster, um, making you know, us sleep more comfortably. If there's ever a problem that you come across in your daily life, then engineers will be there to solve it. Matt, age 17 from Manchester asks, will I need to study mathematics to go into engineering? I've done a mechanics module in my A-levels. Does not engineering degree involve a lot of this? And my simple answer is yes. Engineering involves so much mechanics. When I did mechanical engineering, I did uh, maths and mechanics, and mechanics was imperative to my degree. Um, but it depends on what kind of engineering you want to go into, because if you want to be a theoretical engineer, then you definitely have to do mechanics and mathematics as a whole, because maths is so important to the subject. Claire, age 14, from Hertfordshire asks, I'm 14 and very keen to get into the science communication industry, similar to the sorts of things that you do. How did you get into the industry and what qualifications would you need? Um, well, in my experience, what happened was I did two degrees and then I wrote off to a bunch of independent production companies and I just told them my story. I said I had done um, degrees in engineering, but I really wanted to communicate science in some way. And that's something that I would really stress, is that you don't necessarily need qualifications in the industry, but what you really do need is experience. You know, media is an ever-changing industry, so it's good to keep up with the way things change by just being in it. Harry, age 13, from Sussex asks, where can I get experience of what engineering involves? Do school subjects reflect what it's like? If not, where can I go to get a real feel for what it's like? Well, the best way to get experience of engineering is to actually be in the industry. And I really champion that because when I was doing my second qualification in engineering, my engineering doctorate, I was working in industry whilst researching and studying because engineering is such a practical, hands-on degree and the only way you're gonna get that kind of experience is by being hands-on. My advice to you is, yes, definitely study at school. Try and go all the way to university and get qualifications because that will back up your knowledge and your authority within the industry. But it's really important to get hands-on experience. So, first of all, figure out what kind of engineering you really enjoy. Find out where your passions lie within engineering. So. Um, you know, are you more of a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer, for example? So work that out first and then find out what kind of companies are involved in your interests and then write to them. Try and get experience, try and work during your summer holidays or any kind of holidays. Just be immersed in the industry. That's the best way to learn about engineering because, um, you know, school's really useful for the knowledge, but Getting hands-on experience is the best way to go when it comes to working in engineering. Jamie, age 14, from London asks, will any plane go faster than Concord? The simple answer is yes, definitely, because we can build planes that will go faster than Concord, for sure. But engineers have to actually ask themselves, do they want to? And for commercial airlines, it's quite difficult to build a plane that is going to go as fast as Concorde or even faster because it's just not economically viable. But there are companies that are developing planes so that small numbers of people can travel at Mach numbers greater than two because Concorde, I think, was 2.4, somewhere around there. And I know there is one company that's making um, a plane that can go at Mach 4. So, Yes, there are planes that go faster than Concorde, but no, there aren't any commercial planes that allow us to do that right now. What an amazing bunch of questions. Thank you so much for sending them in. And if you've been inspired by any of these questions, then why not enter the National Science and Engineering competition next year?